Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video we will see the demo of the student enrollment system um, where a student can enroll itself and uh, different different functionalities are there. So before dive into the demo directly, let's discuss some about the technology. So <clears throat> for the front end purpose, it's using JSP and obviously under the JSP it's using HTML, CSS and JavaScript as per the requirement. And uh, for the server side, it's using servlet. And uh, for the database or backend side, it's using MySQL database. And uh, to manage the resources, it's using Maven. So here you will see the bomb.xml. And it's following MBC architecture. So you can see the beans are there, controllers are there, exception models are there, different uh, controllers are there. So it's controller part one of the most important part of the MBC architecture. And the model part is there. And for the view part, we have a JSP here. So you can check the complete architecture here. And uh, for the backend, as I told, uh, it's using MySQL only. So in the MySQL, let's move into the database and discuss some uh, important points about the MySQL. When I move to my MySQL workbench, here we have a data with a student enrollment system where we have a three data four tables, uh, course table, course category, enrollment and user. So there will be two types of user. One will be the student and second will be the uh, first will be the admin and second will be the student. So admin can be a teacher and be a faculty who can add the course, add the category of course and a student can log in and enroll in that course. So now let's run the application and check for how the user is interacting with the application. So to deploy the application, it's using Tomcat server, Tomcat 8.5. So I'm just going to run the application. So to run the application, right click on the root folder, go to run as, run on the server, select the server, click next, click finish. Automatically, the application will be launched over the Chrome browser or whatever the configured browser that you're using. Okay, now this will be your home page, and again we have a sign up and sign in button. So if you are a new student, you can sign up here. So let's create a new student. Let's suppose I'm gonna use a demo demo user. And demo one at the gmail.com, the username and demo at the to create the password. Again, I'm going to repeat the same email ID here and the valid contact number. Contact number should be 10 digit and the DOB. So, the data format you can select the date from the calendar view, or if you are going to print it manually, you have to follow this format. The first will be month, sorry, day, and then Okay, the first option will be for the month, mm, dd, and for time by. Now select the sender, click on sign up button. As user registers sign up successfully, and now if I refresh the table, the new user is there in the database. Okay, now move to the login, and first login as an admin, and then we move to login as a student. So if you see in the database table, we have two different role IDs. So this role ID differentiates the user type. So always the role ID one will be for the user name for the admin and role ID two for the student. So I'm gonna log in as an admin now. So I just enter username and now I enter the password. When I sign into the system, I can see multiple options are there. Home is there, the student list. So whatever the student is going to register into that application it will display here so admin or faculty can view it also we have a search option so admin can search the user accordingly if there is multiple record also admin can search via the email other option we have a categories of course so if i am a faculty i want to add a course so let's say i add a code java and this is java tutorial this is java tutorial I just add a uh, course, add a course category under this course category. Uh, now the course category will, will display here. Under this category, we can add multiple courses. <clears throat> okay, here we have multiple operations like I can search a course by its name. So let's say I'm using this dummy data and I'm going to search this course. So data will filter here. 
also I can if I want I can edit the course so I just edit the name uh, course category and it's display here if I want to delete it I can delete also just select the option where you want to delete click on delete button the category is deleted next important module is a course module <coughs> currently it's showing the list of available course module again here I can perform the crude operations and search operation I can search a course by category name by uh, course name or by code course code and again we have an edit option here and delete option here now let's suppose I want to add a course under any category so I click on the add course I just move to the I recently added this Java course so I am going to use this to add a new code just enter a course code this should be a unique code let's say I enter this and the course name is let's say collection collections and the start date is today and total class will be 5 let's say timing will be 12 pm and the cost let's say enter 4000 and the status is active and just some description say when the course is added and display and it will display here into the database also the same data will update it into the database table so also you can see the course table into the course table we have recently added a new course here so it will display here you can perform the code operation and then enroll course list so whatever the student going to enroll into the system or into any course it will display here under the this option another common operations are there my profile logout and all so i'm going to log out with this and i'm going to log in as an um, student so here i have another user uh, this, that is called student with role id 2 in my user table here so i'm going to log in with this newly added user and let's log in and enroll into the course so i just enter the username and i need a password so my password is given so i just enter the password and i can check the available course list let's say we have this course that we recently added i just click on the enroll so i'm going to enroll it i already enrolled it now this list will display to the admin as well so if i'm going to again enroll in this it will not allow it the data multiple times it will display only first time only so that's it done from the user end um, let's log in again as an admin and check the user history so I'm going to log in and enter the correct password and now if I check it will display two records okay the new user, user is enrolled here so that's it about the uh, student enrollment system. If you need this source code, you can contact with the Codement team. You can mail us, you can directly ping us over the WhatsApp. The support team will be there to help you to run the project at your machine. So there are different services available in case you want the source code, source code that is also available in case you want with remote configuration. It means uh, to our team, if you want our team to make the project run at your machine, they will also help you to run it. Also, if you want, explanation of the source code so that there are different services so you can connect with us uh, thank you thank you